Developing in the last few hours, the wife of fallen firefighter Jason Arno is looking to take legal action tonight against both the city of Buffalo and the Buffalo Fire Department. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. Two on your side first brought you this story at five o'clock. Tonight, our Andy Payton has been following it closely and just the last few hours he spoke with the widow's attorney about what prompted her to file the notice. And he joins us in the studio now with what he's learned tonight. Andy? Yes, yeah, Scott and Mary Ellis. And despite the Buffalo Fire Department saying their crews did nothing wrong that day, an internal investigation by the legal team working with Arno's wife indicates otherwise. Tonight, the wife of fallen firefighter Jason Arnault filing a notice of claim against the city of Buffalo and the Buffalo Fire Department, citing the city and department's negligence, recklessness, and carelessness in responding to the deadly four alarm fire that claimed the life of her husband just two months ago. Well, we've been covered a number of things. It appears the city didn't do incorrectly, including allowing firefighters to work out a title. Following an internal investigation conducted by the claimant's attorney that includes audio, video, and interviews with over 30 firefighters from that day, the widow making allegations about the handling of the fire, including the city and department knew the building was vacant and too dangerous to enter, didn't follow proper mayday procedures, and failed to train Arnaud and his supervisor to respond to the situation. The Buffalo Fire Chief standing by the actions of his department a day later, despite the death of Arnaud. It was safe to enter at the time, and the chief made that determination. So, uh, yes, uh, no, I cannot say there were any mistakes made at that fire. The notice also saying the claimant is seeking monetary compensation for loss of enjoyment of life, past and future loss of wages, and medical and funeral expenses, among others. But the widow's attorney telling me tonight his client's main goal is to prevent other families from going through this. This is the type of thing that sort of could have been prevented, and that's why they're so adamant about getting the actual cause and try to prevent this from happening in the future. Now, there's no timeline at this time or monetary amount for the damages, but the claimant's attorney tells me that given the details they know now, he's confident a suit will be filed. In the studio tonight, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News. All right.